Okay, I'm uh, James Swan, uh, CEO of Nikunico Inc. Uh, we're based out of Seattle and uh, we run the English uh, site called uh, nikuniko.com. It's the English version, right now, right now we're in beta, but it's the English version of the Japanese site called nikovideo.jp and uh, it's called Nikuniko Doga in Japan. And there it's roughly uh, 25 million subscribers in just three years from zero to, to you know, 20% of the population of Japan. And uh, until recently, it was um, very anime game uh, focused, but uh, a lot of politicians now use it as their channel to reach uh, that audience. Uh, also, uh, during the earthquake and the disaster in Japan, a lot of the TV stations used us to rebroadcast their broadcasts so that the news would get out uh, to people. And people would actually, the, what Nico Nico is, the service itself, um, allows you to either self broadcast or you know, upload uh, videos or, you know, you can watch the programming that Nico Nico provides. And uh, part of that live stream during the, the earthquake, uh, the broadcasters, broadcasters would give us their streams and people would type on top of the videos. And that's the unique part. Attention all members, the exhibit hall closes in 30 minutes. I repeat, the exhibit hall closes in 30 minutes. The exhibit all closes in 30 minutes. But <laughs> yeah, we know what time it is now. Um, but the unique part of the, of the, the social part aspect of the Nika Nika service is that you can type in real time on top of the, the video or the program that you're watching. And so you're having all of these multiple conversations at the same time. And today, you know, at Anime Expo, we've got right now about 85,000 people watching this one stream. Uh, and there's at any given time, usually between two to 6,000 different video streams. And you think of terms of TV, you know, it'd be really hard for a broadcaster to have 16, you know, 6,000 channels. Uh, but we can because we're, the internet, we're on the internet and completely web-based. Um, you know, people can chat with each other, they can look for friends, they can find friends, and you know, they were literally doing that during the earthquake. And, they, and they're doing it now still because you know, if there's a tremor, um, they say, hey, I'm here, I felt the tremor, and word gets out. And it's, it's very viral, it's very social. It's kind of like, you think of... Uh, uh, you think of Ustream and Twitter with the Facebook aspect to it. You bring that all together, it all coalesces into what Nika Nika has become. So an audience can chatter back and forth with a broadcaster at the same time? That's right. The, the users uh, or the consumer can watch, uh, they can communicate with the broadcaster or the reporter. You know, For example, we'll go to some press conferences uh, not knowing what we're going to ask. And uh, sometimes they're really serious, uh, sometimes they're, they're you know, more fun like uh, anime or game game shows. But uh, for example, I've been to uh, a NASA press conference and uh, I didn't know what I was going to ask. And if I've got uh, CBS on my right, NBC on my left, uh, with Kenny Kelly in the middle, and I've got four questions. And of course, we always throw in a silly fun question, right? Um, and so that, that's that's the one I ended up asking. But until a second or two before I asked, I didn't know. Uh, but we can have questionnaires uh, on top of the video. So it's all about being able to overlay have conversations on top of the video uh, without interfering with the experience of actually being able to watch what's happening on screen. So uh, you're talking, it's a fairly popular membership in uh, popular service in Japan? It's extremely popular. I mean, one out of every three 20-year-olds subscribes to the service. Um, a, a year ago, uh, maybe half the people you asked wouldn't know about Nikiko. Anybody asked today, even in their 50s and 60s, you know, my, my in-laws in Japan, uh, they know about it. Uh, it's been in the newspaper. Uh, in fact, the, sub, the programming that we do in the U.S. right now uh, is for Japan and for the U.S. Um, but we did a, um, uh, we covered one of uh, President Obama's policy speeches, and uh, that got picked up by Japanese news media. And it was all in English, but um, you know they, we were uh, in the Asahi newspaper uh, and some other uh, media in Japan, and it picked up as news uh, for them that we were doing these things. These events, covering these events in the U.S. So, how's the beta working out so far? How's, it? how's the beta doing so far in the U.S.? The beta, it's um, it's it's working in terms of stress testing because we're we're finding that we're getting a lot more people than we had expected, um, a lot more people and a lot more people from different uh, geographic areas than we had expected. So, we'll have. 
you know, comments that are in Portuguese, Spanish, and English. So you kind of figure, you know, Canadians, Americans are probably speaking or typing and chatting with each other in English. Portuguese probably from Brazil, you know, Spanish probably from Latin America or Central America. And what was really surprising is that we were really focused on the U.S. You had very U.S. centric, but um, a lot of people, uh, Central and, and Latin America, watch you know, Brazil. Uh, in addition to the U.S. and uh, Canada, so we're very, very happy about that. And where do you see this going in the future? Well, I think um, you know, in Japan, it took four years to get to 25 million. Um, I think outside of Japan. Uh, there's a, a lot more potential for faster growth simply because the technology is there, um, the, the experience and know-how that we've built up over the past four years. Um, you know, we're really excited to be, you know, kind of out of the box. You know, a lot of things uh, end up getting stuck in Japan. A lot of great technology, a lot of great stuff. I think even what you're seeing here today at uh, Anime Expo, you know, all the Japanese content, the characters, or, or the content, you know, the songs, the writers, they're all here. Um, and you know, you're gonna have 100,000 people here. So, and this is just one event in one city uh, in the U.S. So I think there's huge potential for us uh, to grow. And we've been busy here at the booth all day long. This is the only booth I've seen here that has people, you know, at least 20 to 30 people at minimum uh, around it all day long. So if you want to get in on the beta, what do you need to do? All you need to do uh, to sign up for the beta is uh, go to www.nico.nico.com. Nico Nico, by the way, means to smile. Uh, so it's, you know, if you could get a video, so smile video is uh, where the uh, initial um, name came from, but Nico Nico means to smile. So, so you were talking, there's a bit of a discount right now if you wanted to be a broadcaster. On major, this. major discount. Uh, uh, we uh, decided that uh, because we're new in the U.S., that uh, we wanted to make it as simple as possible and uh, as, you know, as approachable as possible. And uh, so for 25 cents, it's just a quarter during our beta phase, you can use any feature uh, on the site. And uh, we're going to have a big announcement um, tomorrow, but I'll tell you today what it is. Uh, it's okay. It's probably going to go up for a day or two. So. Okay. Well, uh, you're going to be able to see exclusively uh, simulcast on uh, NicoNico.com. Uh, let's see. And um, pause it for a second. <laughs> Tomorrow you're going to be able to see Blood Sea and Kutano uh, Princess Summer. So those two uh, animes you're going to be able to see simulcast on ikoniko.com. And it only costs a quarter right now, so sign up quick. That's a bargain. Yeah, it is a bargain. Right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.